We decided this time around to open and close each chapter with what we call a case study. And interestingly, these grew out of what had been in our previous edition under the title Chapter Mysteries. Okay. The case studies are designed to be much broader, address much larger issues, and be open-ended. So there's no single correct answer. So it really approaches NGSS philosophy of teaching students skills, teaching them creative thinking, and giving them practice in open-ended inquiry. One of my favorite case studies in the book is one that's about an experiment, a giant experiment called Biosphere 2. So what happened was, back in the 80s, a group of scientists and engineers got together and they built a model of what they thought would test the way the biosphere worked. And the mass media were very quick to label this a colossal failure. But that's not the way scientists look at it, because every experiment is a chance to learn more. So these are ways to expose holes in our thinking, to ask new questions, and that's the way the case studies are designed. Not to give students answers, and there's no single answer to them, but to get them asking these questions and to say, what can we learn from this, and where do we go from here?